what is going on ladies and gents welcome back to Bitcoin daily today we're gonna be doing a market analysis um, well more more like market news uh, and an update on what's going on today on this uh, bloody bloody Monday as you can see here um, so let's just jump right into it uh, the crypto market lost 22 billion in the market cap today with over 90 of the 100 top crypto assets plunging in price and going red um, the price of Bitcoin fell under 10,400 uh, but it's currently bounced back up nicely here um, but we did get a decline of about four and a half percent within the last 24 hours before this bounce back where now it's down only 3.69 percent um, I know a lot of you are gonna be anxiously looking on with March 12th on the in the back of your minds um, at that time, Bitcoin suffered a two-day price plunge that saw crypto assets lose over half of its value in two days. Um, the Black Thursday market crash was not only felt in the crypto community, but throughout traditional stock market and equity markets as well. Um, and it was in large part due to the surging in COVID-19 pandemic. Now, a similar trend is appearing to be playing out today with the Dow Jones and uh, the S&P 500 falling due to fears over the ongoing pandemic and a potential second wave. So you guys can see here, this is Dow Jones. It is down today 629 points or 2.28%. And um, the S&P 500 is down 57 points or 1.74%. Um, so you, you can see all the news here on, on you know what people are reporting uh, Dow tumbles 800 points as corona fears mount um, and then also this is the other thing we're gonna cover stocks tumble on big banks role in money laundering report so and then also fears of stimulus delay so there's a lot of things going on today guys on this Monday and that's why um, it's been such a red day today so um, earlier this month, Bitcoin suffered one of its biggest slumps since March. While it recovered a bit since then, it appears now that the last few days of the month may be as ugly as the first of the month for crypto, if not worse. So as you can see here, the beginning of this month, where are we? This was when the drop. So September 3rd was the big drop right here. And then we slowly just kind of, you know, bounced around here until we finally started moving on up. And then now, boom, another drop. So um, we'll get more into that in a bit. Um, as far as technicals go, Bitcoin failed to break through the 11,000 resistance after finishing near 11,100 on Saturday. Um, it's been downhill since then for Bitcoin over the last day though the, the it is still over 10,000 which is a very main support level and we're also using the, this Fibonacci re, uh, retracement support right here um, at 10,400 all right so um, now you guys already know as Bitcoin since it is the king of the market as it goes so does the rest of the crypto market um, so the rest of the crypto market is similarly suffering today. Ethereum, the second largest crypto asset by market cap, fell by more than 10% uh, today before stabilizing around 345. And it's currently down only 7.40%. Uh, newcomer Polkadot also uh, dropped about 14% today earlier today now it's only down 10% uh, it did drop below that $4 mark it's currently at 412 um, other than that uh, Binance the Binance coin dropped about 10% today uh, so each coin is currently at $23 and which is about 12% less than a day before uh, it's current it's currently at 10 percent though um, so it has the market has been slowly bouncing back a little bit um, but we're still pretty big uh, on the red side right now um, if we look at the DeFi market um, let's look at some of these here uh, chain link one of the hottest coins of the year 
it's dropped by 11.6%. Um, Yearn Finance, it's down 14% right now. It was down as much as 25% earlier today. Uh, it went all the way down to 21,900. Uh, UMA and AV both down about 20% today. And uh, Uniswap, which is a new popular coin everybody's talking about right now, it's the, the hottest thing on the market for the past week. Uh, it's down about 12%. And its Evil Clone Sushi Swap uh, is down about 11%. So they've all uh, climbed back up a little bit, uh, but still all in double digit losses. Um, just like in March, the crypto market slump appears to be highly correlated with traditional financial markets. Uh, panicked investors caused the Dow to drop by almost 800 points earlier today, while the S&P and NASDAQ dropped over 2.5%. Both indices are currently at July levels, uh, so that's key to know right now. Uh, while I, let's go jump back over here um, while a variety of factors may be affecting the market two important ones may be responsible first is the boom this right here we have we've been getting news today um, about COVID-19 um, that there is a surge in cases and that it might prolong the global recession overall so um, this is this is one of the things that uh, was, it has been affecting the market overall today um, and the second thing if we click over here uh, leaked documents from the financial uh, crimes enforcement network published by BuzzFeed has revealed the ways in which banks and federal US regulators have failed to prevent more than two trillion dollars in dirty money from flowing through the financial system guys this is the whole purpose see people say that Bitcoin is for criminals guys read this article they say that Bitcoin is for criminals that criminals use Bitcoin no um, the biggest criminals in the world are banks guys you guys need to learn this stuff um, so that's definitely the kind of thing that makes people a little nervous about where they're putting their money um, and it's definitely affected um, the prices in the stock market today which also affects the price for Bitcoin so as you can see here if you scroll down this article money from drug cartels organized crime rings corrupt leaders money that funds terror networks bloody wars and human trafficking all laundered clean the banks don't stop the money and the government doesn't stop the banks so if you guys go on to read this article, it says thousands of secret suspicious activities reports offer a, a never before seen picture of corruption and complicity and how the government lets it flourish. So as you guys see, this is why Bitcoin is needed so badly um, in this world because of things like this. They try to hide it because they want control over the money. And with Bitcoin, they cannot control, uh, you know, the money. They won't they wouldn't be able to do these things with Bitcoin. Um, so as, as you can see here, if we look at the technicals of Bitcoin for today, as you can see, we had gone up and uh, we dropped down to this Fibonacci 0.618 level. Um, and that is the current support for now. If we do drop below this, um, there is no support until about. 10,000 10,000 is the first main support and then after that is the next Fibonacci level which is 9845 so those are the next levels to look for if we continue this drop um, I'm hoping and I'm thinking that we hold here but as you saw before we can drop lower um, so you just have to be ready to play it on both sides regardless of which way the market decides to go just have trades set up in both sides um, if we do bounce back up, then uh, we're looking at targets of about 10,600 and 10,800, which is this Fibonacci level right here. Um, and if we go beyond that, then we can look at targets where we were at before, which is 11,000 and 11,200. So those are the levels we're currently looking at. 
everything else is red and I'm not gonna go over all the other charts right now because we did that yesterday you guys can check it out on yesterday's live stream it is on our twitch channel um, I didn't post it up this week uh, or today because um, because we had such a big move in, the, in, in this direction and I wanted to just kind of cover everything that was going on and why this move is happening right now so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this I wanted to make this video a little bit different and I want I, I wanted to do some more editing in, in the video but my video editor isn't working so I had to just you know uh, make it happen like this if not we're just gonna keep waiting until I could get that fixed um, but that's pretty much it guys uh, drop any questions you have in the comments and I will try to answer them but definitely check out those articles that I pointed out for you guys uh, let's do a question of the day let me see where where is my question of the day page here it is so as you guys know over here the question of the day every video will have a random question about something in the video the question will always be in a random area of the video find a question then find the answer post your answer in the comments for a chance to win a free month membership to our trading room but remember winners are only picked randomly once the video receives over 30 likes so we need to get those 30 likes guys if not we can't do the giveaways um, so I did not write a question of the day let's uh let's see let's see I'm gonna I'm it's gonna be I'm gonna keep it simple what is the next port area for Bitcoin below 10,400 very simple guys that is a question of the day just go ahead and drop the answers and that's it man thank you guys very much have a great Monday peace and love as always